In the midst of the church, he opened his mouth, and the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the community of the Holy Spirit be with you. And the Spirit. Our brothers and sisters, welcome. Uh, today we're celebrating Mass for the 24th Thursday of Ordinary Time, but we also have a memorial for uh, St. Robert Bellarmine, who was a bishop and doctor of the church. So, brothers and sisters, before we go too much further, I'm going to invite everyone at home to send your guardian angels to participate in Mass. I'll send them right back to you, I promise. Our guardian angel at my side, go to the church for me. Kneel in my place of holy Mass where I desire to be. At offertory in my stead, take all I am and own and place it as a sacrifice upon the altar throne. At holy consecration's bell, adore with Sarah's love. My Jesus hidden in the host, come down from heaven above. When the priest communion takes, O bring my Lord to me, that his sweet heart may rest on mine and I his temple be. Welcome, brothers and sisters. Great to have you all here with us today. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And Almighty God, have mercy in us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who adorned the bishop, St. Robert Bellarmine, with wonderful learning and virtue, to vindicate the faith of your church, grant through his intercession, that in the integrity of that same faith, your people may always find joy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I am reminding you, brothers and sisters, of the gospel I preached to you, which you indeed received and in which you also stand. Through it you are also being saved, if you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 brothers at once, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. After that, he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one born abnormally, he appeared to me. For I am the least of the apostles, not fit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace to me has not been ineffective. Indeed, I have toiled hard harder than all of them. Not I, however, but the grace of God that is with me. Therefore, whether it be I or they, so we preach, and so you believe. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. You are my God, and I give thanks to you. O oh my God, I extol you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come to me, all who who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to the Lord. A certain Pharisee invited Jesus to dine with him 
And he entered the Pharisee's house and reclined at table. Now there was a sinful woman in the city who learned that he was at table in the house of the Pharisee. Bringing an alabaster flask of ointment, she stood behind him at his feet, weeping, and began to bathe his feet with her tears. Then she wiped them with her hair, kissed them, and anointed them with the ointment. When the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would know who and what sort of woman this is who is touching him, that she is a sinner. Jesus said to him in reply, Simon, I have something to say to you. Tell me, teacher, he said. Two people, two people were in debt to a certain creditor. One owed 500 days wages and the other owed 50. Since they were both unable to repay the debt, he forgave it for both. Which of them will love him more? Simon said in reply. The one I suppose whose larger debt was forgiven. He said to him, you have judged rightly. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? When I entered your house, you did not give me water for my feet, but she has bathed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You did not give me a kiss, but she has not ceased kissing my feet since the time I entered. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she anointed my feet with ointment. So I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven. Hence, she has shown great love. But the one to whom little is forgiven loves little. He said to her, your sins are forgiven. The others at table said to themselves, who is this who even forgives sins? But he said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Jesus Christ. I'm kind of interested. Uh, the, uh, there's a, the series I've been talking about intermittently, of course, uh, the chosen. Uh, I'm wondering, I haven't, they haven't done a scene with the woman uh, having her feet anointed, but I want to see how they perceive this, uh, this experience of Jesus and the woman to have gone down. Uh, what do I mean? It's, it's incredible when you get into the dynamics of what is actually happening here. You know, a couple of things, the way this woman is going, I mean, imagine the embarrassment and humility you would likely feel if you went into a big party uh, and you go to the host, well, not even the host, I'm sorry, it's not the host at all, because uh, the host is the other person in this story, but you come up to this guest, uh, you bow down in front of him, you kneel in front of him, and, and you start wi wiping, you're crying already, so you're already kind of, you know, most, most cases, any of us that are crying, we want to kind of hide it, look, I don't want anybody to see me, uh, when I'm crying, that's not completely true, actually. Uh, I don't mind. It's one of those things, though, but still, I'm not going to go into a public arena knowing that I'm crying. Uh, I mean, I'd probably try to catch Jesus. This would have been me, okay? All I'm saying, I probably would have tried to catch Jesus after the scenario to say, hey, uh, look, you know, I'm kind of not doing so well with my sins. Can you help me out here? You know, but she's crying uh, uh, copiously and, and, and wiping his feet uh, with her hair, which, by the way, was not only a very intimate act, as it would be today, as it would be today, can you imagine yourself if you were a woman? Uh, I don't know how it would work if you were a man on the other side. I don't know of anything, any equivalent of this. Uh, but a, a, a wife would do this for her husband, basically. So you already see the, the, the intimacy in this act uh, is, is, is kind of unmistakable. Um, and so the point is that she goes to, she goes to Jesus, is wiping uh, his feet with her, with her hair uh, in the middle of this copious crying uh, uh, episode. Um, and, 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 and she is in the perfect place. She's in the perfect place. So all I'm getting at is if you think about how you could be shamed possibly uh, uh, to walk into an environment like that and to do what she was doing, yet she doesn't let that stop her. She does not let that stop her for the sake of Jesus Christ and her own needs. So if we think about it from that perspective, imagine on the other side, what would you do for Jesus maybe? It's a good question. What would I do for Jesus? Jeez, I don't know at times. How, how far would I reach out for him? I don't know at times. It's easy to say, oh, you know, I'd, I'd go to the ends of the world for Jesus. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, it has to be very deliberate, but the point still is in those, in those scenarios. Jesus is looking for this from all of us. And I don't mean the first time or the second time. I mean our whole lives. He's looking for this level of intimacy. He's looking for this level of being able to say, Lord, I, I need you in my life to change this heart of mine. All of us. If anybody has not had an episode in your life where you realized how bad sin it is against God, if you've never realized how much you need God, then you're probably, and I'm not pointing fingers here, what I'm saying is if that's the case, even more so, we need to pray if that's the case for any of us. 
Because the reality is that this, this guy, the, 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 the leader of the house, the, the head of the household that was throwing his party, has kind of, he's, he's deliberately inviting Jesus in to kind of use the, the scenario for his best advantage, if you will. So he doesn't do the, even the customary things for Jesus. So Jesus even gives me a story about a person who owes 50 days worth of wages and a person who owes 500 days of wages. Look, any person, I don't have to be smart. To, nobody has to really be. Just think about it for two seconds. You're like, well, obviously the person that has more to gain from this would, would have the best advantage. And so this is rightly called, uh, I think his name was Simon, the leader of the, uh, uh, the, leader of the party. Um, and so he tells Simon, look, you know, ever since I've come in, this woman has shown me love and gratitude and respect and dignity even though she herself has done an act that maybe would be seen by most people as being undignified. She has loved me and she has gone well beyond to show me this love. That's what the Lord is looking for. In my heart of hearts, I know it. And I, I, I'm sure everybody believes this when you think about it just for a few seconds, that, that, that Lord, this person has given you everything. Help me to be like her. Help me to be like her in everything. And every day, Lord, to be able to reach out to you and say, look, I am sorry for the sinful things that I've done. I'm sorry for the people that I haven't maybe helped. I'm sorry for the, the, the things that I've kind of dodged because I didn't want to get in, too involved for your sake. You know, the easy ways we take out in this world, I'm sorry for those. Uh, but help me and, and help everybody uh, here, help everybody present to say, you know what, Lord, today, how about today? Or maybe tomorrow, uh, uh, but, but, but tomorrow because maybe today's late, I don't know. But at the same point, help me tomorrow. Lord, help me right now with, with this love for you. Help me to be in a way like this woman, unguarded, all giving, all loving, very generous, and to certainly not be like the Pharisee that, 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 that you're, you're holding and, and you should hold to a higher standard because you have forgiven all of our sins and you came to this world that we might know your love and we might share it. And we might live like St. Paul or, 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 or Bishop Robert Bellarmine in our love for you, whoever we are, whatever you call us to. Give us that strength, Lord, to keep turning to you the way we need to. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us now lift up our intentions to our Lord. The intentions of Pope Francis, for everything our church is doing, should be doing also for the kingdom of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For today's Mass intention for Josephine Dufresne Payne, for her family, uh, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For today's Mass intention for Jay and Kevin Oakland and family, for Father H.L. and uh, George Brignac, for Bia Romagusa, for N. Dillon Conquer, for Noel, and for all of their families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Uh, that parents may pass down to their children the gospel heritage, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those searching for faith may find a place for themselves in salvation history, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And what else should we pray for this day? For Joe, who had surgery on his knee yesterday, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For special intentions and in thanksgiving, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Thank you for Joe and Agnes Lord, hear our prayer. God of salvation, you entrust the church with a message of love and peace, of hope, hope and salvation. Embolden us to proclaim the holy preaching given us, that we may embody it in our words, in our works, and so praise you through Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessings be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessings be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifices at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the cross of the church. Amen. 
As we celebrate the memory of St. Robert Bellarmine, we pray, O Lord, that you may pour out your blessing from heaven on these offerings we have made to you, so that in partaking of them, we may be without fault and be replenished with heavenly food through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, and Eternal God, for your praise and the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By the way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support. So encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the brace before us, and with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with the angels and archangels, and with all the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of our hosts, host, heaven and earth, earth full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, highest blessed is the seed who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gregory our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, with St. Robert Bellarmine, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, we do not enter into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ. Peace, 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 peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Let not take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Those of you at home, please join me in praying in an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen indeed. Let us pray. May your holy gifts, which we have received, fill us with life, O Lord, so that we who rejoice in commemorating St. Robert Bellarmine may also profit from his example of apostolic virtue through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. St. Michael, Michael the Archangel, Archangel defend, defend us in battle. Be our protection, protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, O Prince, the heavenly host, host, by the power of God, and us into all Satan, and all the evil spirits, spirit, who brought for all the world, seeking the world's souls. Amen. God bless you all. Have a great day and a great rest of your week. Thanks.